y'all. So this week I'm going to show y'all how to make a pot cozy. Uh, you can make one to fit any size or shape pot that you have, but I will show you with the pot that I used while I hiked the Appalachian Trail, and I will show you the cozy that I used. Um, it actually held in there like a champ, but if you don't know what a cozy is either, it's okay. You'll know by the time you watch this video. All right, so why would you want a pot cozy? Uh, the reason I chose to was to save on fuel costs. So you can boil your water, throw your food in once it starts boiling, cut your fuel off, throw it in the cozy, and wait for a while for it to finish. So it holds the heat in and allows it to keep cooking. Um, when otherwise you would have your fuel burning the whole time. So it saves on fuel costs and money, which you won't have a lot of while you're hiking the Appalachian Trail. So, um, also while you're eating, uh, if you've got a pot that you just pulled off of your stove, it's scalding hot. So this way you've got something to kind of keep your hands, it'll still be warm, but this way you've got something to protect your hands while you're eating also. So there you go. This is my cozy from my through hike. And that's why it's all raggedy and pitiful looking. Um, with a lot of repairs, but anyway, so um, this was the original design that I went with, um, and then what I'm going to show y'all, I'll show you how to do that one if you so desire, but this is the modified version, and it just overlaps, so, but what you're going to need to do this is some um, Reflectix, um, you can get this at Lowe's or Home Depot for about 15 to 20 dollars, or you can probably even use one of those reflective windshield do funkies, um, same kind of material, so. Uh, and then you're gonna need some Reflectix foil tape. Um, duct tape, I just feel like would probably melt. So I did make some repairs of mine using duct tape, because that's all I had, but. Um, and another purpose of the Cozy is, once your food is cooked and you're ready to eat, your pot is not scalding hot. Um, you can hold it and eat your food. So uh, a couple reasons why I like this design over this one, as you can see, um, this kind of separates here, allowing heat to escape. Uh, this one overlaps. Now this one is probably 0.35, so less than a half ounce heavier, but that's going to depend on the size of your pot um, and all of that and the amount of tape that you use. So, all right. Now the pot that I used throughout my whole through hike, 2,000 miles, is this little aluminum grease pot. Now you can pay for titanium. It's going to be very light. Um, more expensive, way more expensive. This costs about seven or eight dollars at Kmart. And I just made a little modification. You can see this is like an original one here. Um, made a little modification of the knob so I could cook on the fire if I chose to. Uh, I just put like an eye bolt, so this just unscrews. And I just put an eye bolt on this one and cut it off. But uh, a lot of people will tell you not to eat out of and cook on aluminum. So you probably shouldn't, but I figured I wasn't using deodorant for six months, so that was offsetting my aluminum intake. All right, so let's start building. First thing to do is go ahead and make your bottom and your top portion of your cozy. So literally just gonna trace around. I would recommend using a permanent marker so you can see your markings. And you're going to come out. All right, so next we're going to do the side of the cozy. So you want the reflectix to come down a little space from the rim of the pot because when you're trying to drink, you know, liquid left in your meal or you're trying to dump something out or whatever, you don't want it right at the edge where it catches and runs down inside your cozy because then it kind of, you know, makes the tape not stick anymore and all that. So to avoid that, we're going to leave a little space here. Um, on my old design, I, I didn't do that and I learned that I needed to. So anyway, all right, little gap there. So we're going to mark it over here about where we want it to be and then I'm gonna mark inside here about how long it needs to be you don't want it to be too tight around the pot because you want to be able to pull your pot in and out easily so um, 
make a few more marks in here. Alright, and then using straight edge, well that's not exactly straight, but And then we'll cut it out. If you want to have the overhang part on your cozy, then that's what we're going to do here. Uh, if not, if you wanted to have the design that just has the, the part that sits on top, um, then you can skip this part. But uh, I like to have the little lip, like I said before. So this is how you do that part. Just use the lid to measure the length of the cut. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to mark where I want it to be. Again, you don't want it to be super tight on there. All right. Okay, and then there's no like magic number of how thick this piece should be, but um, I'm going to do it just maybe one and a half of these. Um, yeah, just an estimate, just enough to hang over to completely cover the space from where the cozy comes up on your pot to where the little lip hangs down and covers it. All right. So now I've got the four pieces. I've got my bottom, got my top, got my side, and then the lip for the top. And for the taping, I strongly suggest a glass of wine <laughs> just to help because it might be a little frustrating. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do the side first and tape it just along right there. This tape, we've got to peel this off and then just cut Less tape you use, the louder it's going to be. The louder it is, the less your feet are going to hurt. <laughs> okay. This seam right here, I would go ahead and just tape it really well because you don't want it to come apart on you while you're on the trail. But like I said, I mean, if it does, you should have duct tape on you anyway. Duct tape will help repair it. I mean, mine worked just fine and kept it together, but... Um, yeah, if you go ahead and tape it, you can make it look prettier <laughs> than that. That works. Okay. So once you get the side done, then you put your bottom on and you're going to kind of pull it up, make sure it's down in there and same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and get a few pieces on there just to hold it in place. Might help if you just go ahead and cut a bunch of little pieces and then you can stick them all on at one time. In fact, I'm going to go do that right now. Alright, so now you continue to stick them on there and you could go this way, but I just feel like the more reinforcement, the better. I mean, especially, I mean, it depends on how far you're going to trek with your cozy, but if you're going to do a through hike, you might as well armor it. Boom. 
<laughs> Perfect number. All right, so there's the bottom. Now for the top. All right, so for this eye bolt here, um, the best thing to do is just kind of measure-ish where it is. And then just make like a slit without cutting your finger off. So we're essentially going to do the same thing here. So it's going to fit together like so. So it looks like good length and everything. And uh, we're also going to tape around here to reinforce this so it doesn't start peeling. All right, so you tape the two ends together to make your little ring. Then you put the top down in it. And I'm going to go ahead and lay a piece of tape here. <laughs> Remember I said that's where you're going to need your one. Okay, so I'm going to lay it down there. I'm going to put the ring around it and fold the tape up. Once you do a couple pieces like that, just to secure it, then you should be good to flip it over. So in here, I'm just going to go ahead and take this like this, put a few slits in here. Doing this so that when you slide the lid down, it's not catching on this. It'll slide over easily. Um, I had that issue with my old design doing that whenever I would put the, the lid on. So, all right. Okay, now we're going to take those of this. And you can see, I mean, it would fray here and give out pretty quickly. So, that's why, that's why I'm doing all this. And if you really are like a Nazi on weight, like to the gram, I know some of y'all are, which probably you wouldn't even be doing a cozy then, because it's not absolutely necessary. But um, I mean, the less tape you use, again, the lighter it's going to be. Um, so you could definitely trim off some of this tape here. But just for the sake of showing y'all how to do this. I'm not going to get overly fancy with it. Of course, the more time you spend on it, the prettier it's going to be. All right. Voila. All right, so just to show you all the weight difference between the old design and the new design. Old design, 1.25 ounces. New design, 1.3 ounces. So 0.05 difference there on the one I just made. And then uh, as far as pop modification goes, modifying the top. So the old one with the plastic knob, 3.6 ounces. And then with the eye bolt, 3.7 ounces. So uh, really not a huge difference here, just according to preference and what you decide to do. All right, so I hope that that was useful for y'all. If you end up making a cozy, uh, let me know how it works out for you. I'd be interested to hear what y'all's thoughts are on it. I wanted to make some announcements. 
First of all, this is going to be the last video of season one, but no worries, season two is coming up shortly. I want to take this break to go ahead and finish the ebook that I've been working on for y'all. It's a basic guide, like a how to prepare to hike the Appalachian Trail, because when I started, I had no clue. Like, what do I do? I literally Googled how to hike the Appalachian Trail or how to plan an AT through hike. I want to put information in there, not only just about um, how to prepare, but like things that you'll deal with mentally out there, wildlife, safety, um, just all kinds of things, just so you'll know what to expect. I think even if you're planning to do it in sections or, you know, any kind of backpacking in this part of the country, um, that it will be helpful for y'all. Another thing, I have put a gear list. Um, I still need to add some things to it, but it's on my blog, www.homemadewanderlust.com. And soon, during this stretch, the span that I'm taking a break, I'm also going to put up all of the financial information. I know y'all have asked that, um, so and I want that included in the ebook. So I'll also post that um, on the blog for y'all to see. Coming up, I'm doing Trail Magic, not this coming weekend, but the one after at Brown Gap. And there will be some people who um, were in the videos and stuff while I was hiking that are doing Trail Magic with me. So like the family of seven, um, and then Cap, one of the guys that named me. So. Anyway, we're all going to be out there doing trail magic for this year's through hikers as a way to pay it forward. So, and I'll definitely be taking video there. So, um, y'all be looking for that after the break. And in case you didn't know, it has almost been a year since my through hike began. Um, began on March 29th and the channel I think was started the 1st of April. So, um, almost at a year anniversary now and kind of in celebration of that and the ebook and just everything, I wanted to do a little giveaway. So I'm going to give away a life straw um, to somebody. I'll pull a name out of the hat, but all you have to do to enter is comment on this video a question or some piece of information that you would like to see in the ebook that I am currently writing. One of the questions that I've gotten a lot lately is what are your PCT plans? So I want to hike the Pacific Crest Trail. I'm hoping to do it next year. It's going to depend on funding. Um, so I am trying to get this ebook out. I'm trying to start my microgreens business. I'm working a bunch of part-time jobs. I could get another engineering position, but I don't really believe in starting something like that with a company and then quitting after a year and burning a bridge. I just don't feel like it's um, my character to do that. So. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to try to have all kinds of forms of income to save up to make it happen. A lot of you have suggested that I start a Patreon, so I'm going to do that. But I wanted to be able to provide something of value to the people who are donating. So that's why I want to get this ebook done. That way, you can either buy the ebook straight up for whatever I price it as, um, or you can donate through the Patreon account and get a copy of the ebook that way. Um, so anyway, that is my plan. Thank y'all to everyone who has stuck with this channel from the beginning. Uh, I never imagined that there would be this many subscribers. Um, we're approaching 4,000 quickly and I just, I just can't believe it how much support I've gotten from people who have started out from the beginning watching or along the way or, you know, post hike. Um, but I was just you know, doing something that I'd always dreamed of and just to be supported by so many people has been absolutely amazing and has encouraged me to continue to do more and uh, has really made me have an itch for the PCT. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a little break though, three to four weeks, so I'll either be back April 20th or April 27th. I will keep y'all posted, um, but we're going to keep rolling with the once a week on Wednesdays thing. I'm going to miss y'all for this stretch. Um, I'll still be answering comments and things like that, um, but uh, get ready for season two. Okay, so I am here at Amicalola uh, State Park, and I am about to hike the approach trail. I uh, just weighed my pack in and signed the registration.